The GOP has claimed the Senate majority, but the House of Representatives is still up for grabs. Now, conservatives seemingly have power in the White House, the Supreme Court, and in Congress. Tonight, our ABC 17's Marie Moyer joins us live in studio. Marie, you spoke with a political science expert today who says that it is still necessary for President-elect Trump to build a reliable majority. As you can see on the monitor behind me, the results for the U.S. House are still undetermined, with the GOP actually flipping four seats. Uh, theoretically, it is much easier to pass policies with party control. However, some experts say it's not that easy. Tonight, we voted, we voted to save the United States of America. With the GOP securing a Senate majority and currently fighting for control of the House of Representatives, the possibility of GOP influence across all three branches of government is becoming more likely. However, according to some experts, a red majority in Congress may not necessarily cut through the red tape of legislation. According to Charles Zug, assistant professor of political science at the University of Missouri, a congressional majority is only effective when there is complete agreement among its members, a challenge for any party. It all comes down to how well the party that's in control is able to work itself, work with its own members, right? Um, can the party sort of coordinate its activities across uh, institutional boundaries? Republicans took more than four days and 15 rounds of voting last year to elect Kevin McCarthy as speaker, who was later removed. It tells me that most... Zug tells me that Trump will most likely focus on executive decisions, and he predicts immigration will be the first one on the table with plans to close the border and enact deportations. All right, Marie, thank you. To stay updated on U.S. House results, be sure to check our website. That's abc17news.com to learn more.